uh, I logged into Vistara and I'm looking at um, a, a dashboard of various applications and services and infrastructure elements that are participating for, for a business unit. So here I logged in as an enterprise IT where my business units are organized into different business units underneath and I can take a look at individual business units and business units dashboard or I could take a look at the corporate enterprise level um, uh, the dashboard across the entire enterprise. So in the interest of uh, what a dashboard looks like for a business unit, I am looking at a business unit within an enterprise where enterprise IT is operating a command center for this business unit where there are 54 services that are getting managed with uptime of uh, availability. There are 23 services that are not maintained today because those business that business unit is not uh, operating them, so as a result, they are down. But my interest lies in these four degraded services and why those degraded. And all these dashboards are completely customizable uh, with Vistara technology. Um, that way, uh, as part of uh, an enterprise command center, one could build these application centric service dashboards that are customized for a business unit. Let's go take a look at uh, the underpinnings that created this dashboard before I go into what the command center looks like. The number one piece for creating um, this, this, uh, this dashboard and this visibility is to discover and, and the policy based discovery to um, the entire modern IT. And the policy based discovery of uh, Vistara will allow one to discover the assets that are on premise private cloud and public cloud in one single framework. And, and I'm, I'm not going to create the policies and, and, and show here because in the interest of time, but if I look at this, right, there is capabilities in the Vistara that allows me to discover, you know, um, private cloud, public cloud, um, you know, on-premise infrastructure elements using SNMP, WMI, all kinds of standard protocols. And if I choose public cloud, you know, I can, potentially go and uh, across Amazon, Azure, um, you know, all Google, all kinds of public clouds and discover all kinds of them. So the purpose of this discovery policy is again, it's not static discovery policy. I'm creating this policy where the policy behind the scenes gets executed uh, as the instances, let's say in Amazon, someone is using cloud formation temp, uh, mechanisms to create the new workloads in, in Amazon. So Vistara discovery capabilities will auto discover as the cloud formation is triggering the new workloads in the, in the AWS. Vistara can discover them and bring them into a management framework. We not only discover what are the actions that one wants to do. Do I want it to manage those devices? Do I want it to take the CloudWatch alarms in those cases in Amazon case? The, the purpose of what I'm trying to kind of show here is the dynamic discovery with which a command center needs to discover various aspects of infrastructure that exist um, between private and public clouds in a policy driven method is very, very critical. And Vistara brings that capability. Now, once I discover those, uh, those assets, and this is what we call dynamic CMDB that is getting created um, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a manner that allows um, ability to kind of bring those service dashboards, which I will show in a second. Uh, the second thing that I need to do is create policies again for management. How do I, um, once I discover these assets in a dynamic way, uh, I, I need to apply the right um, templates to monitor and manage them in a, in a dynamic. So again, this sort of policy driven methodology to um, manage those discovered assets in a, 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 a rule-based thing uh, is what Vistara brings to the table. And here I can take a look at, um, I can define my templates as if device name contains, let's say, HTTP uh, web, because all my web layers are going to carry web dash star, right? And I can put all kinds of attributes on it. Uh, whether it is AWS, because I'm creating a policy against AWS, 
I can put all AWS related queries here and then I can provide the monitoring templates uh, in a dynamic way. So as soon as I, the policy matches, these monitoring templates are applied on the device and, and these knowledge articles that I wanted to apply on them so that, and then credential sets is also a mechanism with which uh, I would like not only my IT team uh, as an enterprise command center IT team, but also the business units and the developers who are managing that um, those credentials, those those instances and those applications are needs to be applied. So a policy-based mechanism to create those devices, uh, those device management um, device management is critical in the in the command center. So these policies get created in in Vistara. And the third category that is that is very very critical is um, the ability to kind of create. Um, uh, incidents and, and process these, these alerts and events in the form of incidents that needs to be created. Let's go take a look at how I could create a command center policy to make uh, certain people notified in, 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 in an SLA driven mechanism. Again, I am taking a policy here and I'm collecting all these alerts and if the alert carries or event carries critical in it, and it is coming from a sub IP address range uh, 172.21, which is my Cassandra uh, network. Uh, I would like to kind of notify my big data uh, team, which is the application development team, not necessarily the, the system admin team within the command center, but more an application development team. So in this particular case, I wanted to not only create an incident, uh, with whatever subjects and, and things like that. And again, uh, a bunch of policies that can be created here on what departments I need to notify, what are the applications that are getting impacted because of this policy, um, you know, what is the category. A lot of things can be done and all these things can be customized, you know, as you can see on the, on the tokens on the right side. And I'm also not going to create a REST API so that I can create uh, a, a web uh, REST API that allows the developers to consume this API and do some action. This is very, very critical in the DevOps world. So the command center now is giving an API method to do certain things in the external to command center. You know, those external consumers of this REST API could be developers, could be uh, ITSM systems, could be um, could be external service providers um, and could be automation scripts, which is very, very critical uh, in, the, in the thing. And then I also wanted to SMS uh, and notify and text a bunch of developers and, and upon certain SLAs, I also wanted to notify uh, with a voice note to uh, a, a business unit's VP saying that, um, you know, in this particular case, John Summers is the VP who uh, I wanted to notify after a certain interval uh, who is the general manager for the e-commerce site saying that there is a there is a uh, event that took place and you know he is going to you know command center is acting on it the IT teams are working on it and but he he gets a, a voice notification on his on his phone system so again the key message here is policy is the methodology to create um, and operate this command center for an enterprise. Then the, the fourth aspect that I would like to kind of touch upon is the schedules and you know scheduled um, uh, um, SLAs because you know I don't want to notify everything to everyone in, from a command center. How do I create my, my my schedules again on a business unit by business unit? I can create different schedules, um, you know, saying that this is e-commerce uh, SLAs. And I can specify the business hours priority, and I can specify uh, upon um, you know uh, the response time. If it lapses, this these are the people that needs to be notified, and you know reminder response reminder one. How do I uh, how do I do that, and how do I set my resolution times, and then create these SLA methods within Vistara 
that will allow the command center to notify different people across different um, uh, business units and within the command center IT teams, the, the storage teams, the network teams, and things like that. So that, that's one aspect of it. But the, the one other important aspect of it is, you know, how do I create my entire uh, escalations and shift schedules? Because I may operate my command center by, sorry, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button there. Um, um, I, uh, uh, I, I need to kind of uh, operate um, the command center where the different IT teams need to be notified um, based on their shift schedules, right? So one needs to create those shift schedules in the Stara where one can specify what are the business hours, who is in the, who is in what shift, you know, whether they are IT admins, what are their cell phone numbers, what, what, uh, what are their primary contacts and secondary contacts. I can organize all my shift schedules. Now, once I set up all of this, the, the most critical piece that comes to the thing is, now the command center is looking at all the, needs to look at all the alerts and events that are coming. So once I set up these policies, all the alerts and events from various places will come into a single integrated alert and, uh, and event dashboard, right? So once I set up these policies, I don't need to kind of manually provision anything. These alerts and events are going to come into a single dashboard that one, uh, the command center operates. And I can take a look at any of these things. And it looks like there is a secure HTTP front end that is not responding. And I could take a look at what that alert and event is. And I can see what are the impacted resources. And I need to notify who. And it looks like I need to notify during the business hours this particular uh, individual. Um, I can see at my fingertips who I need to notify. And I can also correlate um, various things that are taking place. You know, what are all the other alerts that are taking place on, around this? What are the open incidents that are taking place on this? Uh, and if I wanted to execute certain kind of run books on it, I should be able to execute those run books um, right at, at, this finger, at, at the fingertips to see if it can self-remediate. I should be able to take con control of the device if I wanted to. But ultimately, what this will result in is a command center that can react to an application-centric visibility into the infrastructure. Let's go take a look at what that application service dashboard looks like. And that will be my last piece of the thing that I would show before I, um, I jump into uh, question and answers. Right? So, Gone are the days where the infrastructure is seen as infrastructure elements, though one should be able to see that. But the businesses want to see what those application services look like and what is the service map for that application looks like. Here, I am looking at the application service map. And the, this application service consists of catalog services, inventory services, e-commerce services, and marketplace services, right? And each of these services are decomposed of sub-services and microservices that are run, running across private and public cloud infrastructure. In this particular case, there is an API service that is running on um, private cloud. And there is a lot of components that are running on the private cloud here. But if I look down here, the, the entire e-commerce front end is running on the Amazon AWS, and, and those subservices are uh, shown as a service dashboard here. This service dashboard is created based on policies, again, and there are policies that I could set up in the interest of time. I'm not showing those how you set up these policies, but this is the application dashboard that the, the business unit is going to get visibility into that the command center is operating on it, right? So the command center now is looking at things not at infrastructure level, but based on application components that compose that, that, that dashboard to come together. Okay. Last piece uh, is at the end of this thing, the, the command center needs to give business unit oriented reports 
and th those business units reports could be executive level business unit reports that goes to the business unit in the form of a PowerPoint where the command center um, automatically send these these dash these PowerPoint reports um, and I'm opening a PowerPoint report that Vistara generated out of the box from uh, from the thing that I can sit in front of the business group saying that you know by the way your application is available but here are the components that constituted that application here is the performance here is the capacity here is the utilization um, here is the infrastructure that participated in it and things like things like that so that um, in a nutshell is what um, Vistara uh, capabilities around um, the the command center and what the command center reports look like at this